Roll buffs. Woohoo! Yes! Now, this is something that's... From what I understand, anyway. Which admittedly is not that much, but... From what I understand, uh, most of the roll buffs didn't even apply at level 70 anyway. But I guess they just formalized it, so at the start of a raid encounter in the Burning Crusade, your world buffs are gone. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, you know what, I think is good for me, I guess. I It doesn't seem super fun going around capturing the the world buffs. Yeah, uh, no. It's I mean, a bit of camaraderie, and I guess if that then turns into lots of freeform PvP mm -hmm. and actual genuine cool world fun, then awesome, fair enough. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this... Seems like it could be easily overblown. Doesn't seem mm. like it was actually a massive thing anyway. Yep. Uh, now, a bit bigger over here, though, mm -hmm. is the Chrono Boon Displacer. Yes, hashtag some changes. Hashtag some changes, indeed. This is a, this is a fun one. It's a, fundamentally, they're making a significant change to world buffs in that they're allowing you, with an item that you have to get from Chromie, to snapshot them, basically put them on pause, Put them in your bag, and then whenever you need them later, take them out. It's it's actually, like, I could see people maybe been angry about this, but fundamentally to me, as I think a couple of commenters on uh, Wohead and stuff have laid out, I think this is a really novel solution to a very dangerous problem. Yeah. It's really super interesting. Yeah, so like the situation used to be that the optimal way to play the game was to get all of your world buffs before raid, and then log out until a raid and not play the game. Because if you log in, your buffs just run out and expire and you don't have the raid. So the optimal way to play the game was to log out. And I don't think anybody think that's, thinks that's ideal. Yeah, no, that's that's a terrible side effect of an otherwise pretty okay mechanic, well, buff-wise. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's got its... It's definitely, it's to say, old school and textureful. Some people will like, some people will not. I think they've done an incredible job here of preserving them while eliminating the big downside and seemingly not with side effects. Yeah, it's it's the fact that they've done it without side effects that really intrigues me, where I, I guess the problem is they do remove some of the griefing aspects, which might be considered texture and fun if as soon as you get them, you hit the button. But oh, yeah. if you're going from one to the other, then you've got a chance to get got in the middle, which I think is uh, I think is where a lot of the, a lot of the texture should remain in trying to get them all together as quick as you can and then hit that button and then have them. I mean, they've, in a thing that's like almost an unexpected level of foresight from Blizzard in solving these problems, they've thought ahead and went, right, how's this gonna go wrong? Okay, people will stack them. No, the supercharged one's unique. You can have as many of the empty ones as you need, but as soon as you use one, it turns into the supercharged version, which has the buffs, that's unique. So you can't play with them in any super interesting way. At least not that, you know, we've actually found or will find yet. But it's just, they've solved problems effectively. They've solved problems correctly as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm so um, I don't think there's too much more to say other than, yeah, yeah. good job. Seems really reasonable. Yep. 